Retang gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. I had a guy hit me up, and he wanted me to do a video on how to make the shift, how to just let go on your journey and raise your vibration up to the point where you actually make this shift, all right? So I thought this was a great topic. We're gonna get into it. What you gotta do, and what I'm finding out for myself as well, you gotta let go. We have to learn to let go. I feel like we hold on to too many burdens in our life. We hold on to so much baggage that it keeps us, it keeps us nailed down. It keeps us weighed down. We hold on to so much baggage that it keeps us anchored down to the point where we can't rise up. You want your heart to be light as a feather. That's the laws of Mayat. To have a heart light as a feather, you gotta let go. This is where we talk about unconditional love, operating from the love frequency, that fourth chakra. You gotta have love. That love frequency will have you in a state where you understand everything. The love frequency will have you in a state where you have empathy for all life, for everything you feel. You're in tune with the earth. You're in tune with the most high. That's what unconditional love is. I had somebody ask me, you know, what, what is unconditional love? It has nothing to do with a relationship. You know, we always think love has to do with a partner, you know, a man and a woman, but that's not, that's not entirely what love is. Love is unconditional love is loving everything, all, being in tune with the conscious, being in tune with everything, insects, animals, the plants, the trees, everything, you feel everything, right? When you get to that point, this is when you know your vibration is gonna rise up because in order for you to get to that point, you gotta let go of all that baggage. You got to start forgiving yourself. You got to start forgiving others. You know, some of us, we hold on to grudges. 10, 15 years grudges. You know what I'm saying? And it don't even mean anything. Like, what are you holding on to? And that's where the ego comes in. Some of us, we live in our ego so much that we can't let things go. Because our ego wants to hold on to that. This is when you got to kill the ego. The ego isn't bad, but when you get to the point where you're just holding on to all these things and you can't let go of certain things, that's when you need to cleanse your ego. Detox your ego, your third chakra, the sun, the solar. Most of y'all are on the right track because you wouldn't be watching this video if you wasn't. You know, y'all are on the right track to really make this shift and transition into a higher version of yourself. If y'all don't feel the energy right now, man, I don't know what to say. The energy is beautiful right now. I feel recharged. And with everything coming back to life on the planet now, life, new life is coming. New life is about to emerge. You know, everything's about to start moving faster. The molecules, the air is about to heat up, which means the molecules are going to be vibrating higher, which means that you need to start vibrating higher. You know, we are vibration and frequency. A lot of people get confused when I talk about vibration. You are literally vibrating, right? This solid form, we're in a dense reality. So the reason why you see solid objects is because everything's moving slow and dense in this 3D reality, right? Raising your vibration makes your vibration ripple faster. This is why you feel good when you're happy and when you're laughing, you feel the energy. It feels it's a high energy. This is why they call it being high. You're high off life, you're high. Because your energy's up and you're vibrating faster, right? Your aura, then it projects in your aura, which is your electromagnetic body that surrounds you. Right? It sends off, it sends off signals, electricity. It forms a cloud around you. And then what happens is you start to heat up the molecules around you in the air. They start to move fast. This is why people feel your energy when you walk past them or they just look at you and they can, they can feel your energy because you're literally moving molecules around you. You feel me? You only get to this point when you're in tune. 
you know, you got to be vibrating this way to make the shift, to be able to make it to the new earth, the new consciousness, the new, the new mindset. Breaking away from the old ways. The old ways are dead. You got to go by your gut feeling. That's your spirit talking to you. Your gut feeling is going to let you know whether you're doing something right or wrong, whether you're on the right path or the wrong path. But you got to listen to that. Your feeling. That gut feeling. You know, that's your compass. That's your inner compass. Just like, you know, dogs, tracking dogs, right? They pick up a scent. And then they can follow that scent trail to lead them to the right path, lead them to their destination. So just like a tracking dog, your gut feeling is going to lead you on that right path as well. Just like you're chasing the scent, your gut feeling is going to lead you on that right scent to get you to where you need, to get you to your best version. But you got to listen to it. You got to tap into yourself. You got to tap into yourself. You know, it's time to wake up. It's been time, it's been overdue to wake up, but really right now, you need to start waking up and start to realize who you are, start to realize the power that you have inside yourself. The energy is amazing right now. The energy is amazing. You know, trying to just letting go of everything, man. No, no grudges, no hate, no fear. Getting rid of that fear. It's a lot of fear mongering going around right now. People trying to keep you in that fearful state. There ain't nothing to be scared of. Nothing to be scared of. Get rid of that fear. You know, when I was a kid, man, I used to always, I was probably eight, nine, ten years old, walking around fearful, you know, scared to go to hell, scared of all these things, you know, that was put into my head as a child. Anytime I heard a siren or a horn or something like that, I thought, you know, the sky was about to crack open and and Christ was about to come down with his, his horses and chariots. You know, shook. Eight-year-old being scared of going to hell. You know, that's there's something wrong with that. A, a child shouldn't be fearful of, you know, I'm a child. A child shouldn't be fearful of things like that. You know what I'm saying? So... So you got to detach from the old ways and all that fear mongering because that's keeping your vibrations stuck. Right. God and fear don't occupy the same space. So how can you be fearful of something and still be on a high vibration? That's that don't it don't they don't correlate. They don't correlate. Get to that love frequency, that unconditional love frequency. That's going to get you to that vibration. That's going to get you to that next level. That's the test. The test is no matter what's thrown at you, can you still show love? Can you still forgive? Are you going to let this world change you? A lot of people become toxic because of their experience. Right? And they let the world change them. You got to look yourself in the mirror and you got to see that inner child in yourself. That little girl, that little boy. That had pure energy, a pure spirit, was happy, playful. You got to look yourself in the mirror and you got to see that child inside of you. Because that's what it's all about. We all had that inner child in us. You know, that just want to be happy, that just want to be free. Right? But the world changes us and it makes us feel like since we get older and we grow up that we got to be responsible and we got to be stressed out all the time. And that's what keeps us in a low vibration. That's what keeps us in a low vibration. So we got to wake up. You got to tap into yourself, tap into your inner child and find that love frequency again. Don't let this world change you. Let go of all that toxic baggage, all that behavior, all that stress, all of the worries. Just let it go. And just ride this wave. Because it's beautiful right now. But you can't feel that until you let some things go. Rise up. Let your vibration rise up. Let your spirit rise. Let your spirit free. Be a free spirit right now. We're transitioning into a whole new paradigm. A whole new dimension of ourselves and of life. 
Let go. Just let it go. Everything will be all right. Listen to your gut feeling. Listen to your spirit. That's the signal. That's that's the that's the compass that's going to lead you on your path. All right. So I hope this helped you out. With that being said, this your boy Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about this video or what y'all would like me to talk about next. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out.